Is it really worth the suffering? Suicidal people, you know, they say no. They say, no, enough of this. You know, and you have to be pushed a long way, generally speaking, before you'll actually commit suicide. You have to be in very, very desperate straits. But your answer under those conditions is that being is such that it would be better if it had never been. And that's a very, it's, I, think, I think it's a very, it's a terrible philosophy, I believe, because I think what happens if you act it out is that you make the very things that led you to despair far worse. And I can't see that if it's reasonable to draw a logical conclusion that suffering should, justifies your desire to make being end, that the answer to that can't be to produce more suffering. That just doesn't make sense. And my observation has been that people who act out the Mephistophelian philosophy inevitably make suffering far worse. And so, and then that raises the other specter of, well, do they want being just to cease or are they just out for bloody revenge at, every, at any cost? And my conclusion has always been that, is that the mask is, well, being shouldn't exist because it's too terrible, but the true motivation is I'm going to make everyone suffer as much as I possibly can before I say goodbye to this place. And if you read the writings of people like the kids who shot up the Columbine High School, they'll tell you exactly that that's precisely and exactly what they concluded and then acted out.